You're rusty, you're rusty. How's the audio for this thing? What's up? No. What's up? It's been a minute. No. Just do a basic hi? Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Two, one. So, homies, it's been a minute. <laughs> Why am I a cholo? <laughs> when they find out I'm not really a cholo. Not gonna like that. So, it's definitely been longer than a minute since I've last spoken with you guys. In case you didn't know, uh, I'm a dad now. You guys remind me every single time on Instagram or whenever I post a photo on Twitter. You guys are real quick to be like, damn, I feel hella old. You were my childhood. I grew up watching you. So you guys keep posting stuff like this. And it makes me feel, uh, what's the word? Viejo. I never thought I could feel so old at 24. As most of you guys know, I'm a dad. Vanessa and I had twins, two beautiful boys. They are fraternal. Google it. And to just summarize what it's been like, sublime. Look, when people were warning us about get your sleep now, they were not kidding. Bro, I have never felt so tired in my entire life. If you guys haven't even seen it, like on my vlog channel, which I changed it to the Ochoa Adventures, I do a whole entire like night routine with the twins when they were about six or seven weeks old. And you get to see how many times they woke us up throughout the night. That explains the designer bags I have under my eyes. I want to kind of talk to you guys about the process of what it's been like so far for me as a dad. If there's anybody that's expecting soon, especially from the point of view of a dad, maybe I can give you guys some helpful tips if you guys are expecting. If you guys have some, you know, feel free to comment below. So sit back, relax. Thank you for taking time out of your quarantine to watch this video or from arguing with people in your house for taking your socks because they're not their socks, it's your socks. Give back my sock, homie. My sock. All right, let's start at the beginning. If you guys don't know, Vanessa and I met two years ago, and within those two years, nine months happened, <laughs> and two beautiful boys came out. One thing that I wanted to make sure was that Vanessa was comfortable. It's very hard for her to have like this baby bump, and try to sleep comfortably, so I got her a pregnancy pillow. It seemed to be great for her. She was able to sleep. So yeah, she slept really comfortable. And I uh, had a lot of lonely nights, just kind of to myself in a corner, because that pillow took up most of the bed. And then Vanessa was just like spooning it instead of me. Look, I like to be a little spoon, all right? I feel so good to get off my chest. Ooh. On Amazon, I found this book. It's like a book for first time dads and what to expect. It does like play by play of each trimester and each month and what's happening with the baby and what you can do to prepare for your baby or two of them. Which let me tell you, I, I, is anyone ever really ready for twins? When Vanessa and I went out a lot, you know, everyone was just like, oh my god, you are all belly. You know, her, this is what she looked like. You know, her stomach is sticking way out. So we didn't like want to be telling everybody, especially random people like, oh, we're having twins, you know, flex. So a lot of times people would ask us, oh, is it a boy or a girl? And we'd be like, ah, oh, it's actually two boys. And oh my god, you know, so people would freak out. So it was definitely really cute. You know, she was glowing a lot. Her hair was all silky and thick. And everybody was like just complimenting her little baby bump that, that got really big <laughs> but super cute anyways we were shopping for a new car flex which is something you have to also think about we were looking at like tahoe suburban so of course the car dealership's like oh congratulations boy or girl and we're just like two boys and he goes twins oh man we were like uh-huh okay it's gonna be like the same reaction but his reaction was different he was like i i actually have twin girls and let me just tell you guys oh oh man god I'm, i i feel so bad for you guys you guys have no idea what you're oh Oh God. <laughs> so me and Vanessa sitting there like, and I think I know what he meant. It's it's just super tiring. You know, like I know a lot of parents would talk to us and be like, yo, get the sleep that you want right now. But as soon as they found out we were having twins, they were like, oh, yo, man, I can't imagine. Like it was hard with my daughter, bro. Like, damn, two flex. So it was definitely scary. But finally, we ended up scheduling the C-section. With twins, it's very common for moms to have a C-section, especially because one of the babies, when they come out, the second one can be breached. So our doctor like recommended doing the C-section and we were happy with that. So January 30th, I couldn't even sleep the night before. I just remember hearing like the very first time, Cruz. Cruz is the first one that came out. I remember him coming out and crying and, uh, well, let me play a little clip for you. Yeah. A lot of pressure. I 
So as soon as they took out Cruz, uh, the next came Ezekiel, aka Ziki Tikis. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chris. Cruz. Ezekiel. Am I? Yeah, that's probably the best moment in my life. So that's just a little snippet of the boys and us welcoming them to Earth in 2020 and all its viruses. So to the dads out there, I want to let you guys know that yes, you are not going to have any sleep, um, especially if you're having twins. The best thing you can do is, is make sure your partner is happy. Like keep them fed, make sure that you know you're complimenting them, reminding them how much you love them. I also want to get into what it was like the first day of the hospital. So make sure dad, mom, you guys have your bag ready, car seat, everything has to be locked and loaded, ready to go. That first night, I didn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. Both of the babies were constantly crying. And Vanessa has just come out of surgery. So I'm just kind of sitting on like this weird bench bed. I'm trying to get in like these 20 minute power naps throughout the night as the babies are crying and we have to feed them every like two hours. All of a sudden it was like five in the morning. And some of these nurses would just like pop in the room like super loud. <laughs> It's just like, it's 5 in the morning, I'm sleepy, shut up! Which, by the way, shout out to all our nurses and doctors with everything that's going on right now. Thank you. But please don't wake me up. <laughs> I don't know if any other dads have felt this, but when we were driving back, I started crying. Like, I started, I was driving, and I, 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 I felt this pressure of, like, Vanessa, the boys, and I'm crying because everything has led to this moment, and I need to get from point A to B the safest way possible and everyone's relying on me and I was just I was just so emotional and I, I just remember feeling like scared and oh my god like like what's happening like I can't believe this is my life right now and, and just to fast forward you know it's, it, there's a lot of sleepless nights in between there's even some arguments that happen between Vanessa and I that, also another thing it, it kind of can get weird a little bit with like two families merging together so just make sure you guys have um like communication key a lot of you guys have asked like what what's it been like with the twins especially during this like crazy rona stuff that's happening the quarantine we kind of were already self quarantined just with the boys and then we just kind of rolled into it you know i'm not gonna lie i had a few moments of panic um i went out and i wanted to stock up luckily we did have two baby showers so we were cool on wipes baby products so shout out to family and friends clutch black so yeah that's kind of where we're at right now and the boys are almost four months and uh I'm enjoying like every minute of them because they are quickly growing. These little fat boys are filling up. And for the first time, Ziki started laughing yesterday. Hello, it's your daddy. <laughs> so there's that. I really don't know where this video is going. I don't know if it's an information video, <laughs> but I, I just wanted to update you on what it's like being a dad so far. And how excited I am to see them just uh, grow before me. That's it. Just wanted to come on and remind you guys that I'm still here, alive. Unfortunately, we're not really doing skits right now because of everything that's happening. This is how I'm going to be filming stuff. So if you guys have any YouTube videos you want to recommend for me to start reviewing, commentating on, I would love to do that. Hey, maybe you guys would like to meet Cruz and Ezekiel. You guys want to meet my sons? What? Alright, where did I? Cruz! Zikis! Where did I put them? Hey! <laughs> Alright guys, meet <laughs> have to double check. Meet Ezekiel and Cruzies. Um, they are not identical twins, they are fraternal. Right mommy? You wanna pop in and say hi? Hi. <laughs> Alright, you guys definitely pooped. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh this is my little boys. Okay. Can you change my diaper? I can. Oh, oh say less. Alright, bubba. <laughs> so yeah, those are my boys, and it still smells like poop in here. <laughs> Sponge it. Ooh. Ah, oh, good taste it.